Yes, you read that title correctly. The wait list for a Corvette Z06 is currently five years or maybe more than that. This information comes courtesy of Van Bortel, which is a Corvette and Chevrolet dealership in New York State, one of the biggest in the state and in the country for what it's worth. I stumbled upon this information when I was searching for a dealership that would sell a C8 Corvette for MSRP, which I know in its own right sounds absolutely absurd for 2023 or any time within the past 12 months, but it is a real thing and Van Bortel does do that. If you want a C8 Corvette, you need a thousand dollar deposit with Van Bortel and you can order yourself a Corvette and when it arrives, you will be able to take delivery of it and pay just the sticker price with no crazy dealer markup or premium or any of that nonsense. There is, however, unfortunately, a stipulation. Obviously, the C8's an extremely desirable car right now, and as such, Van Bortel will only let you order one if you are a resident of New York State. So, if you're in the same boat as me, unfortunately, that means you can't order one at MSRP. That's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is the fact that just below that, it says they are no longer taking orders for Z06s, even with New York residents, and it says, and I quote, we are no longer taking Z06 deposit as our wait time is expected to exceed five years. So at least five years out on people who have already ordered a Z06 Corvette. So that means the people that have already ordered a Z06 from Van Bortel are looking at at least a five year wait before their Corvette shows up. So if you're one of the lucky people that's already taken delivery of a C8 Z06 Corvette, count your blessings because you cheated the system somehow, some way, you didn't have to wait half a decade to take delivery of your Z06. That means you could be out having fun driving it with the top off in the snow right now. For what it's worth, if you didn't see that, there was a short that we posted here on the Motor Biscuit channel, one of our writers, Henry Cesari, saw an M plate, that's manufacturer plate, C8 Z06 in Detroit driving with the top down in a blizzard. However, there's some speculation that that may actually be an E-Ray disguised as a Z06 to hide its wide body features before it was supposed to be released to the public. I don't know. Go check out the short after this video. Let us know what you think in the comments. Is that an E-Ray or is it a Z06 and just some crazy Chevrolet employee? having the time of their life in a snowstorm. Ultimately though, that begs the question, is waiting five years for a C8 Z06 worth it? Obviously it only takes a little bit of listening to the C8 Z06's flat plane V8 revving to the moon to convince you that you want one. <laughs> But even if you have the $106,000 base price or more depending on options and markups, is it worth it? Take into consideration that the Corvette E-Ray that just got released is already faster 0-60 to 60 than the Z06. That of course is due to its electric assisted all-wheel drive system, but it does make you think. In five years, is the Z06's 2.6 second 0 to 16 performance specs even going to be that impressive? Is that something we will need to hang on to? Of course, the threshold of production cars breaking into the 2 second 0 to 60 mark is pretty new concept, but that really only convinces further that five years down the road, it's going to be even crazier because five years ago, a 0 to 60 in the two seconds for an internal combustion engine car seemed impossible. And while there were cars that did it, it wasn't a common thing. Certainly there was no Corvette breaking that threshold. So it does make you wonder what five years will bring and what $106,000 will buy you in five years. On the opposite end of that spectrum though, the V8 seems to be on borrowed time in the first place here in the US, what with regulations and emissions and the shift towards electric vehicles seeming to be imminent maybe by the time the z06 actually shows up you won't be able to buy a v8 powered chevrolet corvette anymore and that's certainly not what we're hoping for but we're not ruling it out as a possibility of course another looming factor in ordering a z06 and waiting five years for it is the fact that the zr1 is coming the zr1 of course came in C6 and C7 iterations is kind of the final blow for the generation of corvettes why buy a z06 right now and wait five years if presumably within those five years the ZR1 is going to come out. Of course, it'll likely be way more expensive than a Z06, but then if you have the $100,000 plus money sitting around and you aren't afraid to wait five years, you 
probably can afford whatever extra the ZR1 is going to throw on top of it. What are the odds though that Chevy's telling them that it's a five year wait and it's not actually gonna be that long, they're just giving themselves plenty of leeway. You know, like when you go to a fancy restaurant and they say it's gonna be 45 minute wait and then 20 minutes later your table's ready. Who knows what's going on, really? Perhaps the most interesting thing is the fact that Chevy is cracking down on people reselling the Z06s. So people that are buying them right now and being okay with the five year wait are pretty dedicated to keeping the car. Finally, there is always the looming all-electric Corvette that we know is not just a rumor, but will actually be happening. Now, of course, whether or not you like electric cars, electric performance in terms of acceleration is always going to outdo an internal combustion engine. Personally, I'm a fan of both of them working together, and you don't have to like one or the other, or you can hate one or the other. I don't really care. The point is, there is an electric Corvette coming in the future. The ZR1 is coming in the future, so why would you wait five years to have the current Z06 model? Do you think it's worth it? What we'd love to hear from is somebody who actually bought a Z06 knowing that it could take five years or more to get their car and we'd love for you to drop a comment specifically and tell us what motivated you because from the outside perspective it seems crazy but your reasoning could be perfectly valid. Assume you had the money for a Z06, would you buy one right now and wait five years for it? Or would you do something else with the money? Leave it in the comments which you would do. And if you wouldn't buy a Z06, tell us what you would do with that 106000 or more dollars. My name is Braden. You just watched a Motor Biscuit video and I want to thank you for tuning in. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Motor Biscuit Official and follow us on Twitter at Biscuit Motor. And for all kinds of automotive news, insights, and content, check out MotorBiscuit.com. For now, let us know your thoughts in the comments and I will see you next time.